Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, July 12th through the 18th, 2021. For all Tauruses that may be watching, Taurus suns, moons, risings, Taurus is on the house cusp, those with their sun in the second house or Venus in Taurus. You can watch this reading. Guys, any information you may need is below in the description box below this video, including my website and my scheduling page. There's also a Groupon for 41% off any 30-minute live reading. My live readings are conducted over Skype. I also do offer phone readings. There is a there is a recorded option, but that's priced differently. So if you do want to get a, a live reading with me, uh, I suggest getting the Groupon because you'll save a little bit of money that way. Um, but I do have other services available on my website. All that information is uh, listed below. Anything else? Uh, guys, please do excuse the condition of my nails. I am not in Chicago, so I don't have my nail technician nearby. So it's a little bit embarrassing, but um, just bear with me. Uh, I should be back next week, so hopefully um, we won't have to look at them anymore. <laughs> so let's start off. Let's see, Taurus. Um, I'm going to start off here with a, to clear the energy with a bowl clearing here. And then we'll get into your reading. We're looking at six cards for your weekend. All right, Taurus. Feel free to fast forward to the actual reading time. As I know, many of you do not want to watch me shuffle, or I do have announcements at the beginnings of my readings. We are going in order of signs this week, so I'll be putting out about three signs every day until we get through everything, everyone. Okay. So, Spirit, what's coming up for Taurus this week? Give me six cards for Taurus this week ahead. Some, some cards coming out there. Right. Six cards for Taurus this week ahead, please. All Taurus suns, moons, risings. Taurus is on the house. Those with their sun in the second house. And uh, Venus and Taurus. Let's do three more. bit of a messy shuffle there. The cards are coming out all over the place, so I guess you guys are ready for your reading this week. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Anything else? That's it. All right, Taurus. There's our six cards. I forgot to mention, we are going to be pulling a message from my uh, Oracle deck at the end of this reading to give you some extra guidance. At the bottom of the deck, we have the star in reverse, sign of Aquarius. That is the underlying theme or challenge of your reading here. Um, possibly uh, some sort of pessimistic outlook on the future here, or you may be losing hope or faith of for reconciliation. This could also be here, I need to focus on astrology, healing, um, doing something to rejuvenate and revive yourself. Um, I recommend maybe a spa weekend, if you can't afford that. Doing some kind of um, home spa would be a good idea. Also, um, some of you need to start looking more into your chart. Looking into astrology, focusing on, you know, your north node where you need to be uh, focusing in terms of your life purpose, your life path. Some of you feel like you've gotten off track somehow or you're losing faith in your own life path here. Some of you are in a relationship with an Aquarius and um, you've been very giving to this person. Maybe they are not... Uh, uh, there could be some here. I'm not sure uh, what the star is uh, for you in this reading. Let's see. We do have Taurus, though. Someone has been alone. 
Someone's very charitable, that's for sure. Uh, you've been very giving, uh, but uh, you, I feel like something here, it's like you're running out of hope or faith that something is going to happen. And I'm not sure what that is. Um, this could be kind of like a, uh, what's the word? Existential crisis here is what I'm getting. Taurus, how you see yourself today? We have the Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, so you're confused, looks like. You don't know what the truth is. You lack clarity about something. There could be someone telling you outright lies or someone here who is purposely misleading you. Um, it looks like you need some clarity on something. The theme for you over the next week is the Four of Swords reverse. So you, you're really tired. Yeah, you need a mental break. It looks like you've been um, overthinking something or possibly you've been up in your head. Too, you've been, yeah, yeah, you're in your head too much is what I'm getting. But also you need a break like a mental retreat. Some of you are in professions or doing something that's very taxing mentally. And so the cleansing or the clarity is not coming because you're not giving yourself the mental retreat that you need. We have Libra coming up here as well. Huh. The four of swords reverse indicates a tired mind. So in your past, a lesson you learned in your past that will be useful for you to remember this week, we have the Three of Cups reversed. This is issues with a group of friends feeling lonely, uh, not having, not putting yourself or going out for social opportunities. This could also be here, uh, drinking and partying to excess or issues with social um, groups. So some of you here are feeling lonely in your friendships. You need to con find a better way to connect with people. Whatever you've been doing here hasn't been working. Maybe you aren't going out. Maybe you aren't connecting and you need to. Your challenge this week is the Ten of Swords reversed. Okay, so we have Gemini here. Um, someone may be relapsing. This could be due to an addiction here. I'm seeing uh, drinking coming up here. Um... The challenge is to let go of someone or something, and um, I'm hearing the word expunge. Something needs to be expunged. What that means is uh, bag it up, put it in the trash, and then um, uh, clear the space, clear the energy. So um, instead of holding on to this old energy, you need to start letting go and letting yourself heal. All right, there's too much relapsing going on here. This could also be going back to a relationship or overthinking something that you you know, you know, is very much over. I really am seeing a carcass here. Um, the lesson you are learning now is the queen of pentacles. That's you. Take care of yourself. Take care of your home, your family, those closest to you. Focus on your money. Focus. Um, this is a very practical energy here. There's a need for you to get grounded and back into your element. I would also suggest um, spending time near the, in the, in the earth, putting your feet on the earth going for hikes, walks, anything that can help you get grounded. There's too much air energy here, uh, specifically Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. And also the water energy here is not helping. This, uh, if there's something you're doing, uh, a group of friends you're hanging around, uh, they're not helping. If there's a habit that you continue to do, such as drinking, partying in excess, they're not helping. These are bad influencers as well. The gift you will receive is the Ten of Wands. You are going to be able to move forward on your path. It is going to be a lot of work. You will be successful. However, it will feel very oppressive, very burdensome. Some of you need to relocate or are relocating by the end of the week. So it's a challenging week for Taurus. I will say that. You have, um, uh, I would say the energy feels oppressive. It feels heavy. Um, there's a need for you to get grounded, get focused on practical things again. Uh, also letting go of the thoughts that are not helping you. And I do see being successful here. You may also need to delegate responsibility. I see you taking on the lion's share here at the end of the week. What is your advice for Taurus this week, please? Spirit, what is your advice for Taurus? Advice for Taurus? 
this week, 12th through the 18th. Advice for Taurus. We have heavens. Something is heaven sent, and we have protection. This is protection against the evil eye. Um, you also have Archangel Michael here. I would recommend lighting a candle for, to Archangel Michael. Also, <clears throat> Archangel Michael offers protection for those of you who feel like you're under spiritual attack or have been under spiritual attack. I do recommend um, saging, and uh, but you are you have this divine gift here as well of protection. Praying to Archangel Michael uh, would be useful. Um, a gift, uh, someone in heaven here, someone could be in heaven. Uh, someone in heaven is, is out looking out over you. Um, I feel heaven sent protection as well. This is a challenging time for you. Just know that uh, your prayers will be heard. I recommend praying to Archangel Michael, your angels and ancestors, your spirit guides, calling on them, telling them, you know, your problems, uh, letting them know that you need help. Um, it could be a very uh, challenging week for you, Taurus. Let's do one more um, bowl clearing here. Taurus sending you blessings and um, much love on your journey forward. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.